So today Notion launched something called Notion Sites and it is a new way to create websites, blog posts or even portfolios with Notion and connecting it to custom domains. We're going to be exploring what it is, what it does and everything you need to know about this brand new feature and ability in Notion. Welcome everyone, my name is Francesca. If you're new here, do hit subscribe because Notion have plenty of updates in the summer, so um, I'm sure I'll be back doing more features. If you're in the hunt for productivity tools that will help complement Notion, then you can check out Toolfinder, which will be linked below to explore more tools. So um, there's obviously quite a lot to dig into here. Notion Science is a brand new way to create websites. Now Notion has actually been quite good at this for some time. Um, I actually created many, many a website, but the problem with creating a website previously was it was sort of just a Notion link, um, a beautiful Notion link at that, but it didn't really have the, I guess, back end of, uh, you know, SEO and um, the ability to publish updates and uh, some customizations, including like Favicon and custom domains, things that you'd expect. And there are actually sites that try to fill the gap, creating a front end for you like Super and Potion, which were popular tools. But now Notion are launching their own thing called Notion Sites. And this very simply does a few things. The first is that you can customize it with a favicon. Uh, you can build a top navigation bar with links. You can also add uh, visual themes and connect custom domains, as well as claim multiple notion.site domains of up to five, as well as the ability to add a site SEO and description and add Google Analytics and site settings tab, which is helpful. Now, obviously Notion don't want to just um, stop at sort of creating websites. This is a good way to create a portfolio. It's also a good way to create um, an internal wiki for people who want to connect up a wiki to share as their help and support page. But it could also be things like link in bio, job postings, anything like that, that you want to quickly update and keep refreshed in that light. Now, what's beneficial about using Notion sites is that um, difficulty in creating a website. Um, there's obviously that uh, SEO struggle and just even signing up to a bigger website like Squarespace, it can be a little bit daunting. But if you know how to use Notion, you can pretty much create the website straight away and don't need any coding skills to get started, as well as launching it with a custom domain, which a lot of people will like. So I wanna mention about how you could potentially use this. Now, obviously this is really expansive. You could use this as your blog, use this as your team wiki, you could use this as your portfolio for work. But I just wanna give you an example of how I used to do it and how you could potentially do it. So the previous Toolfinder website was actually built entirely in Notion and the front end was super that connected a custom domain as well as allowing me access to those SEO settings that they've released in this update. So having this probably about a year and a half ago would have been very helpful, but of course it means you can build something from scratch using Notion. Now, obviously a blog post is a great way to start, a portfolio for sharing with other people, but I think the opportunities for this are much more endless. And one of the benefits that I think people will find and like is that accessing updates on your mobile and say you were writing a blog post or publishing your journal for the world to see, whatever it might be, you can do that on mobile and then publish it instantly to get an update for those who are watching and being able to keep updated with it. So it's a really interesting perspective because you're able to ship releases a lot faster using Notion. And while some of the customizations aren't going to be as extensive as apps like Super that I have used in the past, it definitely still will be a good starting point for most people. So when is this gonna be released? I didn't get a date, but I assume, as they've mentioned that assumption again, that it will be rolling out from today. Um, but obviously that is um, obviously totally up to them. <laughs> um, so FYI, um, how much will it cost? I did ask the team before filming, but I wasn't able to get an answer. However, I can likely imagine uh, that the custom domains would be the pricing element of this. Uh, let's see what happens when they release it. Uh, I'm sure people will fill the comments for me uh, in terms of pricing anyway. But most of these applications are between five and $10 for actually creating one pages or even a mini website. And I can imagine Notion um, probably charging maybe four or $5 for this edition. But again, I don't know. 
So that was Notion's update. If you want to catch all Notion summer updates, because they've got a summer release, it's like uh, Airbnb with their updates. It's pretty cool. Um, so do make sure you subscribe to this channel. Obviously, we'll be rolling out more updates very soon. And as I said, if you want to check out tools, jump over to toolfinder.co to explore more productivity and general software tools. Thank you very much, and I'll see you very soon.